everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Thanks so much for joining me today, and if it's your first day here, welcome to my equestrian YouTube channel. Be sure to look just below this video and click the red subscribe button. You will be subscribed to see new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I mainly focus on horse training tips, rider position tips, and product reviews. Today I want to talk about a tool that is sometimes used to train horses. This tool is called, are called draw reins. Draw reins are one of many tools used that can be used to train horses. Um, and you have to be careful not to get draw reins confused with side reins or uh, Vienna reins or Laufer reins or rainbow reins or whatever. Uh, I'll put up a picture of a horse um, being ridden with draw reins. There are two different ways you can attach draw reins. One way is by attaching them to the girth and running the rein in between the horse's front legs through the bit and then the rider holds the rest of the rein in their hand. Another way to attach draw reins is to attach it to either side of the girth or maybe just one side of the girth if you're just using one um, and then through the bit and then to the rider's hand again. So um, this is different than the other tool that I, I like to use, side reins. And again, side reins can kind of be attached in different places too. So I, I'm not a fan of draw reins and let me tell you why. First of all, it creates, if you use draw reins for an extended period of time, it can create these really weird muscles in your horse's neck, like a little, like a bulging, cresty, fake cresty uh, neck. So, so your horse's neck, it can kind of bulge like right here. And, I, and it's from the horse sort of bracing up and against the draw rein. Um, especially if you attach it to the, the girth in between the horse's front legs. It can make your horse be too downhill thinking. And through correct dressage training, we're trying to create uphill balance, balancing more weight on the horse's hind end so that they can last longer and carry themselves better and carry the rider better. Uh, another reason why I don't like draw reins is that as my trainer said when I was growing up, it can be like giving a monkey razor blades. Very, very dangerous. The thing about draw reins is that they're sort of fixed, especially if you, they're, they're usually made of leather, and if you're holding them in your hand, you can accidentally get them too short, and there's no sort of relief. Your horse is sort of tied down into an unforgiving position. And if you know anything about horses, you know that if they feel stuck, they can panic. And when they panic, in this case, they can rear and fall over backwards. And I know that to be true with actually a horse that I'm working with right now. Um, this horse was trained with draw reins and she is a sensitive, emotional horse. And she was uh, driven together too much and when the draw reins are, are, take, are put into the mix, the horse is not allowed to express themselves because they're you know, sort of tied down and forced into a position. And so when a horse is not able to express themselves, it can sort of fry their brain. And this is what happened to this horse. She was trained with draw reins, driven together. And so what happened is she reared and she fell over backwards. And then the horse was um, deemed um, unsafe to, to be ridden. And when horses are unsafe to be around, a lot of times they end up in slaughterhouses. And um, it's really not that horse's fault. It's, it's always the rider's fault, the handler's fault, and what kind of situations we put our horses into and, and what leads them to express themselves in that way. A horse is never trying to be mean. They're always just trying to look out for themselves and preserve their safety. So, um, yeah, draw reins can be can be really tricky to use. 
and you need to be very, very educated to use them. I mean, really educated to use them. But the thing is, if you're educated enough to use a draw reins, then you probably don't need them. So it's kind of a catch-22. You need to be educated enough to use draw reins, but if you are that educated, you probably can find a different way to train your horse without using the draw reins. Um, I've used draw reins in the past long ago because either I didn't know any better or because my trainer um, told me to use the draw reins and um, this was long ago. I feel that now I, I've I train a lot of horses with a lot of different problems or you know histories and I feel like now there really isn't a time that I need to use the draw rein. You know there's some horses that come with baggage and um, and it's hard to correct some problems um, but really those problems and that baggage can just be overcome with time time and patience and consistent training, positive reinforcement. Um, I would rather, I personally, I would rather go that route than, than to use draw reins anymore. And um, it, when I was using draw reins from time to time long ago, um, when I took the draw reins off, my problems were still there. <laughs> it, it was really just a band-aid. And um, so I, I don't find, I don't like draw reins. I never really did and I, I have no use for them now. So I guess at the moral of the story is, in my opinion, you should try to find a different way to train your horse rather than coercing them into a position where they're not able to express themselves. Things will go better in the long run for you and you will be training your horse. Um, it might take longer, but you'll be training your horse in a, um, in a way that promotes longevity and a better understanding of the training and, and without having to use a tool that serves sort of as a band-aid. So anyway, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Um, let me know what you think about draw reins and other other types of training tools in the comment section below. I'm interested to hear. Um, if you like this video, be sure and click the thumbs up. Be sure and share it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!